I'm Mindy Yoshikawa and I'm here to share with you Sunny Studios 2021 summer release. Up first we have our new set called Color um, My World which includes a crayon, um, a pencil with um, the eraser and uh, the little pencil leads and a million little layers that you can um, choose to make some of them optional. Um, there's two little leads just in case you lose one. Um, and then it includes the pieces to add the black little bands around the crayon as well as the word crayon. And then it comes with the things you need to spell to say color my world. And um, a paint palette with the shadow there. And then um, these little uh, paints that you can either use in a single layer or three of the layers together. And um, you, you can position them one at a time to do each color of um, your palette. And then there's a little paint there that can go on the tip of your paintbrush. And here's the coordinating dies. And up next we have a new set called um, Teacher Appreciation. Um, it says, thank you for being a creative and inspiring teacher, although you could say friend or substitute another word. Um, thank you for helping me shine, which is um, good for anyone. Thank you for going above and beyond, for giving your 100% all year long. You can switch out the different thank yous. Um, and there's two different teachers. Um, Thank you for being the best teacher ever, and you've been the highlight of my year, and you've been the highlight of my day. Um, and then you can um, say the influence of a great teacher can never be erased. And then it includes a couple different paper clips and um, a pen as well. And here's an example using it. Um, on our blog, I provide some templates on how to line up the pencils perfectly, but um, I used a uh, the same set of pencils for these two cards so what I trimmed off I could use on the other card and then I added um, little glossy accents to the hearts there to make them shine here's another example using the pencils um, so this is in a more everyday use instead of um, like a rainbow colored pencil but for this card um, I paired it with our uh, school time stamps for my background and then those stitch circles and then uh, that little pennant from our new stitch rectangles and then I used two different sentiments there for um, from the teacher appreciation set. Here's um, a couple different examples using the crayon from the set. So. Um, you're just going to be blown away by the way our um, upcoming design team has shared our has create cards they've created with this set. But um, here's a few examples. You can turn our new gift card pocket into a crayon box. And so I'll go back over each card individually to describe what I used on them. For this one, I used um, the crayons on the diagonal together with the the little um, lined paper from our school time set and the banner or excuse me the border from our slimline um, basic borders. For this one here, um, I paired it with the stitch ring rectangle die for the background there. And then for my sentiment, I used um, our over the rainbow stamps together with our rainbow word die, which I colored with a rainbow, and then some little uh, hearts from um, our basic uh, shape set. And then down there at the bottom is a strip of paper from our rainbow bright paper pack. And here's the card with the um, little crayon box. Again, I used some rainbow bright paper down at the bottom. And for the background, um, I used our subtle uh, gray tones paper. And then I used a sentiment there from the stamp set, um, Teacher Appreciation. For this card, um, I started by masking off that um, section there, having um, my masking cover the top and bottom, and then I um, coated it in the ink, rainbow distress inks. And then um, I created a separate strip down below, mimicking those same colors. And then I angled my brush there to fit the sentiment from the little set. And there I added a little detail with a border from our Slimline Basic Border dies. And here um, I decided since it was paint themed, I would pull out some watercolor paints and create a really vibrant um, background for um, my card using Daniel Smith watercolors. And then when it was all dry, I um, cut it out from um, the stitch rectangle dies and used our stitch circle there for the center. And then I elongated um, the center um, little pennant to uh, fit my sentiment from the teacher appreciation set. 
and I had a little goof there um, on the paint palette. I had stamped it incorrectly, so um, I decided to use that one where I could hide it underneath. So don't throw out your mistakes. Um, for this one, I um, just stamped the the top of the paintbrush, not the bottom, so that saved me some time um, for the design. And then um, I have our gift card pocket in, in the center, which um, works really well with our stitch rank rectangle dies. Um, I forgot to mention, um, for this one, um, I used um, some brushed, uh, oh, what is that called? Um, the brush stamps from Hero Arts that are retired, and then I um, used our six rectangle hangle dies with some um, um, gingham pastel paper in the background. And then for the tickle, word tickled, I used um, our loopy letter dies, and then um, for the word pink, I used our new... Um, Chloe alphabet dies, which I'll be sharing more of later in this video. And then I added some glossy accents, which sadly changed the color of my letters so that they were a little more, it added a little yellow tint. And here's just an example of um, the crayons. I thought I would share um, my mass produced crayons. It's like a big fun box of crayons actually. And then I've sped it up here so you don't have to watch me sorting through it all. But um, you while you have your um, paint palette set up in your MISTI or something, it's really a great time to uh, just stamp a bunch of different colors all at once since half the battle is lining up um, the stamp image. And then here's just an example of some of the extra pencils and um, paintbrushes I created. And then you've got the little paint tips that you can add in the different colors just so many things to create with this set and I honestly can't wait to see what you guys all do with it. So cleaning up the crayons here. See, I decided not to throw out that little piece I had trimmed off from another card because you never know when you might need another piece to go off the edge of a card so no need to throw it away. And up next we have a set called um, Candy Shop. It includes um, the cotton candy with the little face that's separate there and then a gumball machine and two lollipops or um, like dum-dums and a sucker and um, a little piece of licorice and three um, candies that can be used with that wrapper there so they can be interchanged. You can personalize them with a little face. They got the candy corn and the gummy bear and some other candies and you got two different words with the word sweet so there's lots of punny greetings that go with that. You can say I'm a sucker for you, not just I'm a sucker. And then um, I choose you, and then um, all these different words that go coordinate with the word sweet. So you can say home sweet home, or which I just threw in there because I had a little space for the word home. Figured you might as well give you another little greeting you can put with it, even if you use it with a different set. So up first is a um, card that I had um, that says I choose you, and I use the um, little pennant from our slim line pennant dies to create the band around the center, and then. Um, uh, that little gumball I masked off and repeatedly stamped for um, my pile of gumballs. It actually went so much quicker than I thought it would. It went really quick actually. And then in the background I used our stitch circles there and um, the striped silly paper in the background. And then um, the little ha hamster um, I'll be sharing a little bit later in this video. So here's a card using um, Sweet Shop as well to create like a candy shop window. Um, for my awning there, I used actually the handle from our sweet treat bag. There's an oval handle option and so it made the perfect awning, which I cut out of um, some, uh, let's see, gingham pastel paper, I believe. Could have been classic gingham actually, I think that's the darker pink. And then on um, the bottom I used um, the sleek stripes and then the little um, word sweet there and the, the cutout of it comes with the set, with the die set. Up next is a shaker card. Sorry, it's going off the um, screen. I'll lift it up here, I think, in a second. But um, I created an opening using our stitch circle dies and then a frame using that same stitch circle with um, our, I think it's scallop circle three mat. Um, but I used the little faces on all of um, the critters from the set on this particular one. So. Sorry, apparently I was preoccupied with getting those down. <laughs> so anyway, inside is the little candies from the clay candies from our shop. This, for this card, I did a, I wanted to spotlight the um, 
uh, cotton candy, so I made it into a boy and girl, and I used our slimline um, pennants there. Um, I used the medium, second to the largest, and the largest, but the largest had a bigger shadow, so I trimmed it down with um, my trimmer and used the slimline basic border uh, borders, yes, to add the stitching, and then I also used that slimline basic borders along the bottom. And then for the little um, banners along the top, I used um, the balloon rides and then for the banner I used our banner basics and then I added the little bow ties for the boy and girl um, from our new looking sharp set which I'll share later. So I just wanted to show here for anybody that doesn't love faces this actually pops out so you don't have to have the face on the cotton candy. It's not um, totally evident from the um, retail photo that we have because of the way we color them but um, it's not required that you keep it. And then um, for this card, it was just a clean and simple card using our um, fancy frame rectangles together with the new stitch rectangles and then the little pennant that comes with the stitch rectangles for my sentiment. And then some paper from Rainbow Bright. This is actually different than the card I shared on our blog, but it just goes to show that um, you can't go wrong with any of the papers from the Rainbow Bright pack for these candies. They look cute with them all. So up next is our um, cupcake shaped die. And this is an A2 size die. It's just really large, larger than life. And um, I'm gonna show you here how you can, you can actually put the cupcake on an actual A2 card. That's how it compares. So, um, but you can also create a shape card using the coordinating shadow that comes with it, which is A2 size to fit in an A2 envelope. So it's um, four and a quarter by five and a half. And just an example of how I created a shape card to uh, make it not um, like kind of rock on your surface. I cut a sliver off the bottom and then I um, used um, my uh, scoreboard to uh, score the paper so that it, and then glued above the score line so that it can easily sit flat on a surface. Now this um, die comes with a, a cherry you can put on the top of your cupcake. It comes with um, a candle with um, the little um, flame and uh, little ribs to uh, layer over the top for a 3D look. Um, the stem for the cherry, the stitched heart that you can put in the top of the cupcake, perfect with Valentine's Day. And then it comes with two different um, options for sprinkles. There's the circle and the little straight sprinkles there. And then there's three pieces for this cupcake in this main die. So you cut out your wrapper. Um, I just positioned my paper over the wrapper portion and then over the cupcake portion and then over the, um, the frosting portion separately so I didn't have to cut it out three times and waste paper. So um, for this, I used our um, uh, spring sunburst paper for the wrapper and then a little um, craft paper or tan paper for my cupcake. And then the top portion was cut using our gingham pastels. And then I used this banner from our angel, uh, Little Angels and the words sweet and birthday wishes from the new candy shop set. And then these little uh, clay sprinkles look like real sprinkles um, that are from, um, I believe they're called rainbow dot confetti or something. I, I've linked it in our blog. And um, for this card, I had some uh, candles left over that I had created for the banner and for the cards. So I created a card um, just focusing on those. And for my background, I used um, the striped paper and the little star paper from um, Surprise Party and the pink gingham from our um, gingham pastels and then the words from uh, Celebrate from our new Chloe alphabet dies. And then I add a little glossy accents to my candles there and pop some up with foam tape so that they um, would have different um, heights and dimension, like they're floating in the sky there. And then for this, I use the cup shape to create um, a little gift bag. And I uh, have a pattern on our blog um, where you can download the pattern and make one of your own. Um, I cut an extra of the interior smaller cupcake, uh, like the frosting portion, and um, inserted it into the bag, that portion there so that um, I could sandwich my ribbon and make it look more finished on the inside. So it really um, gives it a nice professional finished look. Um, I decided, I had the bright idea that I was gonna cover this in glossy accents and drop the sprinkles in it like wet frosting. Um, but it turned out that my bottle of um, glossy accents was almost out and it was a real struggle. So unless you have a nice big 
four ounce bottle, I don't know if I would do this again. For the paper down below, I used our um, Summer Splash paper and then I think um, our Dots and Stripes pastels for the cupcake. But it's just a lot of fun and I can see myself making lots of those. Um, up next, I realized I hadn't made any cards using the cherry, so I decided to make a card just dedicated to the cherry saying thanks cherry much. Um, I used the stitch circles and our um, scallop circle mat number one and I believe number three or two, I don't know, get them mixed up. Um, and then um, for the bottom, I mimicked that same um, scallop, oh, used thanks much from our cute as a button set. And um, from the scallop on along the bottom was with our slimline basic dies, and the background was with um, the gingham pastels paper pack. So here I have a banner. It's kind of hard to get it all on camera because I think it's like six or seven feet long. But um, using um, the cupcake dies to spell out the word celebrate with the Chloe alphabet dies. So um, I used those actual sprinkles there from this um, die set and um, papers from our um, surprise party and rainbow bright paper packs. And then the little scallop circles um, from our scallop mat uh, sets and uh, scallop circle mats. And um, of course the stitch circles and the um, Chloe alphabet die. So um, this spans the entire length of my fireplace perfectly and it's just, um, so much fun to see all strung up. Here's an example of the back. Um, kind of created a loop to put the ribbon through and then where, when I knew where I wanted it, I um, except for that one that keeps moving, um, I taped them down so that they would stay in place and not um, be, so that they would be all perfectly spaced. So, um, up next, we have our, um, what do we have? Oh yes, our Beach Buddy set. It's um, a new larger version of the little critters from our balloon rides there, the same six critters, but on a larger scale. And they're um, all ready for the beach here with um, a beach bag that they can sit in with a rolled up be beach towel, um, a couple different options for sunglasses they can wear and goggles and a little um, flamingo and, um, a sand bucket and pay or shovel sorry I couldn't think of the word all these uh, fun things so they can hold the little watermelon and sit in the little floaties and it comes with the word summer and sunshine so you can say wishing you an endless summer hope your um, day is filled with sunshine you are my um, sunshine happy summer hello sunshine hello summer summer smiles so there's a lot of options there I like that font. And then um, for this card, I show how you can use those little um, watermelon um, images to layer over the critters for to look like they're holding it. Cracks me up. And a little sentiment here, um, wishing you a slice of happiness from our um, Slice of Summer stamp set. And I can made this watermelon using our stitch circles and um, scalloped um, circle mat number one and a little heart there that I put in the center from our um, window trio circle dies and the um, stripe in the background using our sleek stripes paper pack. Here is a card um, beach themed that I um, made using the um, little sand dunes from our oceans of joy and then the catch a wave dies there in the background and then this um, sand castle the beach ball and the beach umbrella all come from our set called Beach Babies. And so this is Beach Buddies and it comes with, you know, the sand bucket, the pails. So it's really fun for creating little scenes. Um, I love making them look like they're under the umbrella on their tummies in the sand. Um, here's a card um, using them on the little floaties. So um, for the outline of my card, I cut it from um, using our um, frilly frames herringbone dies and then the center with our stitch rectangle dies that are new and um, I inked up the background with that new um, flamingo color from Ranger and used some of our new little pink uh, um, what's it called um, pink spinal I think it's called or something I don't know how to pronounce it but um, I named them after real jewels um, for our new jewels and then the little seal from Celia Sleeve Sweet 
And this is a really basic card that I mass produced for our store showing how they can go um, inside the little bucket, look like they're peeking out and outside the beach bag and in the little inner tube. So um, I paired it with the um, little squ stitch squares from our um, window quad dies. And um, this is our new Tiki Time set that comes with a little Tiki bar and the three drinks, the two parrots, the Tiki um, torches, a couple of palm leaves, and um, the little hula elephant. And you can say, um, you had me at Ola or Mahalo, or um, you're the peanut to my colada, or seize the day. And the coordinating dies. And so for this card, um, I used showcase the tiki bar there with the two little beach buddies at the bar with their drinks and um, little tiki torches with the um, parrot on the top of the tiki bar and the sand dunes using our um, slimline nature border dies and this card lights up isn't that cool i'm addicted now um so i'm going to show you here on the side but i um i have a tutorial that i log um linked to a, a lawn fawn tutorial um on how to create um the circuit, but um, yeah, my battery's there on the corner using um, their video as a suggestion. I copied it almost entirely in theory. And then um, here's a card and showing how the stitch rectangles can go together with our fancy frame rectangles. And um, I used uh, the little uh, grass border from our new picket fence dies, and then the hula word was cut with our Chloe alphabet stamps, and the happy day were stamped using our happy thoughts stamps. And I just love all those uh, little hula girls lined up. So I'm just showing here how I cut my card base just a slightly smaller because that actual scallop measures the size of an A2 card already. So if I want to um, have the scallop show without, you know, my card showing, I had to trim it down a little bit. So for this card, I also um, inked up the background there with some Distress Ink and cut um, the sand dune using our woodland border dies. And then um, I did the little uh, brush there, making little palm leaf bushes or whatever with the um, stamp set and added the little um, girl, uh, I picture it's a girl, but she's wearing a hat, um, from the Beach Buddies and the C's the day was spelled out with our loopy letters. The little crab is from our Oceans of Joy and the palm trees are from our tropical um, scene stamps. Phew, it's hard to keep up. I always think I'm leaving plenty of time to do a voiceover and it never works out. So for this card, um, I used the little punch out left over from our um, uh, candy shop set and um, I love when I can reuse scraps on my desk. So for this one, I cut out the stitch rectangle using a background that I had inked up with Salty Ocean Distress Ink, which happened to match the little um, uh, cornflower blue uh, jewels that we have in our strop now. And then I used that sentiment, you had me at Ola, which I just love, and a tree branch from um, uh, A Bird's Life, which I turned into kind of a tropical tree branch, probably doesn't exist anywhere in nature, but I um, fit, covered it with um, some of those tropical leaves and the flowers, which I think are so much fun. So up next is our new little happy hamster stamps. So um, for this set, it comes with four cute chubby hamsters, two that are um, like kind of leaping through the air or running on their treadmill, sorry hamster wheel and um, the cute little chubby one sitting there and it says hi cutie and I'm I really like you and then it has a separate little peanut there um, it's probably obvious but there's a hole in the center so it is a separate image there um, so yeah I can't wait to show you the cards making using it they just turned out so cute can't help but smile at those cute little chubby critters so here's one um, at the pot. I created a pile of peanuts for them to be toppling over. And then I used our new um, scallop fence dies there, which I'll be sharing even more later in this video. Along the top, um, I used the grass border die that comes with our picket fence set. And um, I inverted it on itself, like that scrap that I was going to throw in the garbage that trims the top. I actually just flipped it over and used it underneath. And then I, um, for the high cutie banner, I used our um, fishtail banner dies. And here's another card with them outside. For the outside there, I used our um, 
scenic route stamps and I actually inked up the whole background without masking it off or anything using the tumbled glass distress ink and then I um, stamped that same border onto masking material and just fussy cut it above that line. I cut right through the trees and everything and then I inked up um, the bottom half of my card in green and then my Copics were strong enough and bold enough to go over everything and you can't even tell I didn't spend more time masking it off. So um, for the little um, critters there, I have them resting on a log from our Foxy Christmas, a stump, and then a little sunflower from our Happy um, Harvest. And then the sentiment is from um, the Devoted Doggies. And then these little flowers I think are called clay flower confetti. And inside, when I had my glue out, um, this glue here, I, um, it was wet in the side, in the middle and it was kind of poking through and I just dropped a little clear seed bead in the middle of each flower. For this card, um, I actually um, inked up my, um, or kind of drew in with some real broad brush strokes, um, my Copic markers there and then masked it off and um, inked up some tuple glass and then I took a ruler with my um, Copic markers C1, C3, C5 and um, tried to blend on some little bars there for their cage and then I have the seeds and the little uh, wheels there from the set and then that doghouse actually comes from the puppy parents which I covered the little paw print on the doghouse with a heart and then I have the comic strip there, um, speech bubble from our comic strip uh, speech bubble dies and then um, I uh, inked up the edge with our uh, with tea dyed distress ink, cut them out with stitch rectangles, and mounted them onto a paper from Sleek Stripes. So up next we have a stamp set from our new um, Outback Critters. It comes with um, two little parrots, two alligators, an emu, and um, the kangaroo and two um, koalas, two crocodiles there, a wombat, in case you don't know. I didn't know what a wombat was until before making this set, and now I'm in love. Um, and then it comes with um, a general like good day mate sentiment, and um, hoping your birthday is amusing, or I find you amusing. Um, for a quality, you can say quality mom, friend, dad, um, daughter, son, grandson, granddaughter, grandpa, grandma, because it has the little um, things separate so you can build a lot of words there. So up first is a card. Um, I started by making my background, masking it off with the fluffy cloud dyes and inking up the background with some tumbled brass um, distress ink and then trimming out the panel with our stitched rectangles. And then I um, layered some more of those fluffy clouds cut out of white cardstock over the top. And then um, for my um, fence there, I used our new picket fence dies and um, the grass that comes with them that you'll see later. And then in the background there, I used the little mountain from our spring scenes and the two, uh, oh, and the little butterfly from um, our spring shower set. And then the sentiment from um, the set I just shared, or the Outback Critters. And then I actually, this little koala comes on a tree branch and I just trimmed him off and cut off the white portion that the dye would show and blended it into the tree from our um, Happy Harvest stamps. I was so excited to discover it could do that. Up next are the two crocodiles from the um, Outback Critters with the snappy birthday um, greeting. And then I paired it with the island and the little vine there from our Tropical Paradise. No, sorry, Tropical Scenes have too many sets. And um, that outline was trimmed using our um, Frilly Frames hexagon and the little jewels there are our blue topaz and aquamarine jewels. We used a mix of the two colors. And then the paper in the background there is from our classic um, Sunburst collection, paper collection. So here's a slim line card. Um, I used that stitch um, rectangle that comes with our scalloped slim line frame dies. And I built up the scene um, using the little um, crocodile looking up at the two birds in the tree. My two background papers there are from our um, summer splash paper collection. And then um, I added some leaves there from our fabulous flamingo stamps um, to build out the tree branch a little bit better so that it looked a little more substantial up there. 
and then I um, added a wave or to the top for my ocean using our stitched um, scallops and um, added the curve there. I believe with that one I used our slimline um, nature border dies. And then the little fish, I can't remember. I think those are from Oceans of Joy or Best Fishes. I know that the bottom two um, crabs are from Best Fishes. And then I used um, the tropical scenes down below um, to add the coral. So I just love how this all came together. I know it uses a ton of sets, but if you already have them in your stash, it's a really fun one to create. And then I just wanted to show that it, the seams down the side. This one actually measures, I think, three and a half by eight and a half. So it's nice that it um, could fit on perfectly on the width of the piece of paper. For this one, I used our Frilly Frames um, retro petals and hung the die off the die cutting machine and then ran it through a second time, hanging it off the second direction so that I can make this elongated stitched rectangle for the outside of my card. And then I used our staggered circle dies to um, add these little cutouts for my critters to poke out of. And then I stamped these little leaf patterns, like kind of like sprinkling um, embellishments across the card for some movement. And then um, the background behind each critter is using the classics um, gingham and the gingham jewel tones. Yeah, I just love these little guys. So up next is our um, Looking Sharp stamps. Includes uh, three little cactus, cacti, and then um, a little, um, what is that, succulent plant, and then faces that you can put on your little um, cactus to personalize them, or if you don't want it like faces, there's more little spikes to put on them. And little cinnamons that say, hope your birthday's on point, looking sharp, a birthday hat, and then also a little bow tie there that you can put to turn them into a boy or a girl. Um, I'll share an example here right now. So you can see here I put the little bow tie and the um, bow hair bows to make it look like she's got pigtails. For this um, card, I um, used our stitch rectangles um, there and I just shortened them and hid the um, seam with our um, mountain range from um, Alpaca Holiday. And heat embossed a sentiment there from our Coastal Cutie stamps. And there's little hair bows and bow tie. Um, I love how this card looks like a Polaroid. And here's a card using them um, with the little faces and our fence from the picket fence dies. I, um, have their, um, it gave me a place to tie on my balloons from our North um, Poles. Is that right? Yeah, North Pole stamps. And then for the background, I cut out the background using our Frilly Frames eyelet lace dies and um, mounted it onto a striped paper from our Sleek Stripes and then added the cute little party hats there. And I actually um, mounted this with some foam tape um, onto my card so that it would give me a little room. I used some embroidery floss um, taped to the back of those balloons so it gave me room for them to tie around the fence. And here's a card using them without the faces. Um, I turned them into a little uh, plant arrangement inside the house there. Um, I used some uh, the windows from our Sweet Treats set stamps and some pink striped paper from um, the what is that? I think it's Stripe Silly. Oh, actually that's Dots and Stripes Pastels, sorry. And the Kitty Cat from, um, and uh, Yarn from our, sorry, I went to get these dies. The Kitty Cat and Yarn from our uh, Pet Sympathy. So for the um, wood floor, I realized I could um, take these little dies that come with our picket fence and trim them off the tip, trim the tips off and um, create like a staggered wood floor pattern. It's just so much fun. And then I added another little strip, I think it's about 3 8 inch wide, um, to create my um, floorboard or my, what do you call that, molding. And then our last set of the day is our, our stamp set of the day is our poppy fields. It comes with three different flowers that you can layer, um, two stems and um, one layered leaf. And then the coordinating dies. And up here is um, a, a flower bouquet. And um, I stamped it with the words, we're so happy for you. I took happy from our um, Color Me Happy stamp set. And the words were um, so for you from our um, 
Happy Thought stamp. So I combined two different sets there. And then um, I added these little uh, like water droplets um, using our clear drops mix and then added the um, black polka dot, black and white polka dot down the side using our um, basic borders and this red stripe from our um, striped silly. And I rounded the corners there on an edge. So usually I, um, for a vertical card, I have my um, card open up from the top, but I switched it for this one because it looked more like a book to me. Here's a card um, that I created um, for our um, brick and mortar stores as well, um, using the summer greetings from our Radiant um, Plumera and the um, pattern paper there on the side um, comes from our sleek stripes and uh, added a little bow to turn it into a bouquet. So for this card, um, I started by inking up the background and trimming it with our um, frilly frames. Uh, what did I use for that one? quatrefoil dies and then um, stamped it with the sentiment from um, the best wishes from our everyday greetings and the little um, ladybug from our layered um, basket set. I It's on my bucket list someday to go see a field of poppies. They look so beautiful. So this card um, was inspired by my living room. These are my colors. Um, but for the background, I used our um, classic sunburst paper, and then I combined the frames, both the frilly frames, um, retro petals for the outside and for the inside, the frilly frame um, hair, uh, was quatrefoil. And then I, for that little black stitch frame, I actually stole a piece off of our um, wraparound box dies, and then I used that label, stitch label from our um, sliding window dies and then stamped it with a um, sentiment from um, the autumn greetings. And then um, for the little, um, I, used, I sprinkled it with some of the little red jewels. Um, I believe these are, um, I don't know. I've linked the actual color that I used in our blog. I can't remember, we have three different reds, but um, I did link the correct one in our blog, so please refer to that. And then, um, Here's our new little scallop fence die. It comes as one piece with the um, that you can um, overlap and uh, layer with all the little pieces to make it look 3D. So here's an example of three linked together to um, span the width of a um, A2 card. And so um, it's pretty substantial when you add all the little pieces because you have all the little fence posts and um, pieces that make it really fun and detailed. So here's that card again to show you it in use. I trimmed it just um, for the actual um, circle portion of the post, but the posts themselves are the right length. And here's to show how you can kind of um, lengthen it to also span the length of a, um, a slimline card. So not only is it reasonably priced because of its size, but it also is very flexible to work for a number of different um, sizes of cards. So um, for this one, I actually offset it on purpose. It's not centered because I, I knew my little um, um, bird houses and such would be in the center and I wanted to see those cute little posts they're my favorite part so I offset the thing so for this card um, I created my um, pink cloud background using our nature slimline nature border dies masking it off and coloring them with some spun sugar and then for all the elements they came from our birds life stamps and then the grass here is from the new picket fence dies and then Oh, the little tufts of grass near the bottom um, here with, are from our Barnyard Buddy set that I um, stamped there with some um, of the same Twisted Citron ink. And um, here's, I'm revisiting some of the cards again, but I'm um, pulling out the new standalone dies. So this one has the words for twice. You have it both in cursive and the little small word for, which I'll show here in a second. So here's the smaller word for, and I use the stitch rectangle there with the die to help frame the card, the gift card that you can put in the pocket. And the word you actually is the exact same font as our loopy letters. So um, you can use it for a lot of other um, greetings that you create. So you have both the option. It's pretty tight to fit both the words for and you together on the little pocket, but I wanted to utilize the space so you can use it for other projects. 
So here is our picket fence die and it comes with three separate little pieces that cut all at once that you um, can run through and layer over your um, fence to make it more um, 3D. And it comes with that grass die that's actually wider than um, a two size card so you can actually kind of shift it and get um, different layers of grass that don't all look like they're perfectly lined up. And here's an example using it. I shortened this particular fence just showing that. And then um, Here's all the different ways I used them on cards. So you got three different colors here, and then actually here's a fourth color I created. So I started by inking up the, ba um, the background piece in a darker color so that when I put the little fence posts on and inked them on one side, it would look like the light source was coming from one side and help make them pop a little bit. They just have a really nice 3D look in person. It might be hard to capture on the video though. So here's a look at our Chloe alphabet letters. So really good value for um, all the little letters you get, and they're just so perfectly sized for all your cards. Um, it actually has um, the S, I was trying to show you that it's actually upside down in the set, um, but I couldn't squeeze it in the right way. All these letters are top heavy, so the S is actually upside down in the set. Um, so here I sell, um, spelled out hula and celebrate and cherry. So I love using them to create your own punny greetings. And then the tickled pink there. And then, of course, um, I used them for that banner, so I'm bringing that back just to show them. So there's lots of fun ways to use them, and our team is going to show you a lot of cool ways as well. So here's a closer look at the stitch rectangles. It comes with three different sizes that are really usable, and rather than having another size in the middle that's completely useless, I decided to add two more little pennants for your sentiments. And I just wanted to show you and compare it to our um, little pennants that come inside of the fancy frame rectangles. It's actually different in size. It's narrower and sh um, longer. So there um, you've got some different options. And um, just, I get a lot of questions. This binder I have, it's an old retired binder that I keep my dies in from We Are Memory Keepers that's been retired. So I gotta find some, I might, I'm trying to look into uh, recreating something like it in the future. So um, I just wanted to compare these dies. Here's one, my set that's already been opened here. And I just wanted to hold it up to um, some of the, our other dies so you can see how they measure up. So um, the, uh, prior to having this set, we had one stitch rectangle that was, um, I believe, four inches by five and a quarter. So this set measures, I think, just like a hair smaller. It's like one eighth um, shorter on each side, um, like actually, just shy of one eighth actually, because I wanted to make it just a hair. It's like just a hair a bit bigger than um, this die so that it doesn't look like it's inset when you use it together with the fancy frames. It looks like it's layered over the top when you pair them together. And then you can also use, I grabbed the wrong one here, but you can use the um, smallest die with the other size of the fancy frame as well. So now you have a die that's perfectly um, sized to work with those. And actually, um, all three sizes work beautifully with um, our previous frilly frames as well. So I'm going to share here. That's the middle size. Sorry. I'll share here at the very end all the ways, I, all the different cards and how um, each of them work. But I wanted to kind of also share here our um, frilly frames and how that having the three sizes work really well with um, been able to pair them with some of these um, dies, whereas the retro petals outside might have been too big. So you can layer it together like that, or you can use them with all the insides. So it just gives you another option. For this particular die store, just as an idea I got off of someone else from YouTube, um, it, it's chipboard in the center with um, adhesive um, magnetic sheets and then job pockets and I love the system so I keep them on my desk in a um, like a plastic bin I got from Ross that I can just flip through and um, it's been a really great way to store all of my dies. So here is an example of all the cards. I I'm going to show you the three different sizes. So this card um, uses the largest rectangle in the set. So does this one.
and then that is also the largest rectangle, so those three. And then this is the middle size, as well as this. And then these two, or this one is also the largest size, that's the one I kind of shrunk down and cut off the center. And then these two are the smallest size, so you can fit the smallest size horizontally on a vertical card as well. So that's the last of our um, summer 2021 release. Thank you so much for um, stopping by and joining me today. I hope you love it as much as I love creating it for you. Thanks again. Bye-bye.